What did Jesus eat for breakfast? Great question. Let's dig in. Welcome back, Potluck Nuggets Nation. You look amazing today. We're diving in to a brand new genre for Potluck Nuggets. Breakfast. Breakfast, yes. yes. Today, for the first time, we bound down the boulevard of food beginnings from the best bodega of breakfast burritos, brisket, and spicy biscuits that we know of. So stay, <laughs> stay, tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Stay <laughs> tuned as we decide which combination is a breakfast must do and which combo is a taco <laughs> food. I try. I try. I don't know who writes this. Okay, yeah. so there's that. I can't wait, at least for the must dos, anyway. So let's dig in once again. <laughs> All right, so here we go with breakfast round one. This, uh, as you will have seen in a close-up picture, is not a breakfast burrito, nor is it a taco. For those of you in Texas, you already know what this is, and a few other states down south. Up north, however, you may not be aware of kolaches mm -hmm. and the amazingness that they bring to the breakfast menu. So we have kolaches everywhere down here. They are oh, yeah. ubiquitous. Donut shop. Everything. Everybody's got kolaches. In everybody places. got kolaches. Everything we're eating today is from the best gas station in the world. Also an amazing store on its the own. World. Called Bucky's, which again, if you're up north, you might not be familiar with. If you're down south. Toby calls it the Walmart of gas stations, but it's a little more high class than that. Nothing wrong with Walmart. I shop there all the time. But this is like the Disney of gas stations. This is an amazing gas station. Probably true. And there's a lot of locations down here. I think there's one out of state now, Arkansas really? or Alabama somewhere. I think it's Arkansas. Well, hopefully, they'll make it up your way soon if you're watching from up north or uh, overseas. We have some overseas uh fans, but probably Bucky's won't make it over there. You never know. So, Kalachi. Kalachi. Kalachi originally filled with fruit. This is a Czechoslovakian um, invention that made it over to the U.S. Um, a lot of Czech families came down south, started their Kalachi uh, factories, if you will, and it was fruit and like cream cheese and stuff like that, and eventually they realized that at least in Texas, uh, we like to we like to have a little meat with breakfast. Yeah, you know so, they started throwing... Oh, Kalachis are awesome, man. So, they started throwing different kinds of meats in there uh today we only have one meat but two different kinds of kolaches this is our our son ours bucky's jalapeno and cheese kolache and then we have the next one well this has sausage in it the next one also has sausage but the cheese and the jalapeno is baked into the bread mm. instead of a filling so we're gonna see which one's better and then we're gonna pick wait i'm hungry the better one against bucky's breakfast tacos of which there are many ready oil on that. yes Cheers. bam Oil. Oh, you're right. How, <laughs> did that, on mine too. how did that happen? Um, we didn't wrap these, so that would be Bucky's fault. Mm -hmm. This was made at Bucky's. Mm -hmm. Not bad. No, pretty good. What's the unfortunate side effect of the show is that we don't get fresh and warm food it's mm -hmm. always been sitting for a little bit it's still really good though mm -hmm. because of the heat lamp which does not by any means keep it fresh no the bread's a little a little dolgy they would say it's not bad because it got hard it got start hardening up under the lamp but this is a good kolache yeah it was mm -hmm. good. i mean i could finish it but i might want to because we have several others to taste true but let's move on. Are we, to move, the, are we go, rating these? Let's move one, on to the next. Are we rating these from a one to a ten? Let's just do this. Did that hurt? I felt like you didn't hit me. Did you actually hit me? <laughs> oh, this one's good. Okay. Oh, stop. Just mosquitoes in here. So uh, let's just decide which one kolaches better. We don't have to rate it. We might have to rate the tacos because there's okay. four of them. All right. Or we'll do this one versus the next kolache. Okay. All Ready? right. Boom. Welcome back. Round two on these kolaches. Dos. Well, this one looks very different. It's got yes, cheese, cheese and jalapenos baked into the bread. Baked into the bread. Made fresh at Bucky's. Mm -hmm. 
and um, a little sausage in the middle. It looks very different than the mm. other one. This this one is breakfast sausage. Oh, the last one was like hot dog, like lunch kind of sausage. Although that's what they put in a lot of kolaches mm. for breakfast. But this is actually breakfast sausage. Like, so we're like pitting these Dean's two style. against each other. See yeah. which, tell you which one's better. All right, let's do it. They look good, man. Yes, they are good. Mm-hmm. Man, that tastes so different. And it's amazing because it's all the same ingredients, basically. I mean, the sausage is different. And full disclosure, you've never eaten breakfast at Bucky's before, right? No. So I get I, I get these all the I time. I get their beaver nuggets. They're amazing. They are amazing. I highly recommend them. Mm-hmm. But this, for me, is my preference. I prefer the way they do this one over the typical mm -hmm. kolache. Me too. I think it's better. It's really good. It is really good. It's biscuity. It's amazing. Mm. It has the breakfast. It tastes more like breakfast because of the breakfast sausage. You know what I mean? It does. It does. It's hard to put this down. No, yeah. That's definitely the that's the thing that you want to finish. Once you get started, you don't want to stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good, bro. It is that good That one wins. So that's the best kolache. Now we're going to put the kolaches against the tacos. Mm -hmm. And we shall try to give you all of the ingredients. Um, we kind of messed up the writing on it. <laughs> but, you know, worst comes to worst, we can look it up. We're starting with, I believe, the taco called the rhino, and then we'll work our the way rhino. down the list. Let's do it's it. It's made out of a rhino horn? Nope. All right, round number three, and we're diving Ooh. into the tacos. Taco yeah. time, breakfast taco time from, uh, once again, Bucky's. This is not the rhino taco. This is the hippo taco. Rhino taco coming soon. The hippo taco hippo. contains eggs, bacon, beans, potatoes, and cheese. And hippo. 345 calories, 38 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat, and 27 grams of protein mm. to balance it all out. So wow. to me, what that says is this is good for you. This sounds really good. It's pretty good. good for you. And I've never eaten so we have before. to. We're going to have to unwrap. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ready? I'm ready, man. All right, all right, all right. I can't right. wait. Cheers. I'm going to dip it. We're dipping in hot sauce if you want. Man. I just don't like my tacos oh, no. without hot sauce. Oh, this is going to be harder than it looked. It's got to have a little sauce on there. This is Frank's original Red Hot, if you're wondering. That was another episode. Mm hmm. That's a pretty good taco, man. It beats both of the kolaches. Mm, yeah, I guess, I, 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 guess I really like that second kolache. But yeah, I did too, but this I'll, is really I'll good. This over that. So these are like, these are the very lardy, homemade tortillas. The kind that you wish every Mexican restaurant served. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, some of them get the stamped store-bought tortillas. This is a really how good much, tortilla. How much are these? I don't know. For a taco. They're really good. I don't know. I don't know if I like it better with, with or without the hot sauce. It's so tasty. Well, no, the hot sauce is good. Mm -hmm. well, that is a good burrito. Man, on a scale of 1 to 10, that's up there. I'm going to give it like an 8 so we have room to grow. It's a 7 or an 8. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it at an 8 and then we'll... It's a movable scale, so we'll see how it goes. Next taco. Okay, welcome to round numero cuatro, round number four. Oh, first, uh, first taco against the taco, taco mm. on taco crime. Was the last the one we had a hippo? Kolachi, yeah, last one was a hippo. The kolaches are out, the tacos are in. The hippo mm. rated an eight. Let's see if the rhino can beat it. Here are the ingredients. You have eggs, sausage, cheese, potatoes, beans, and green sauce. Man, because of the green sauce. Potatoes. And green sauce. Thank because you. of the green sauce, uh, I'm not going to dip it in... This sauce, yeah. or maybe uh, maybe a second bite or so. But interesting facts. Yeah. Hippo versus rhino. What do you think the top speed of a hippo is? The top the one. Top speed, running speed of a hippo. Do you think oh, you're hippo, faster than a hippo? Uh, you think you're faster than Josh? About, I'm going to say so, about 38 miles an hour. 38. So you don't think you're as fast as a hippo? No. On land. The hippo okay. will kill you. Hippo will kill you. you. Hippo will run you down. 30 miles an hour top 30. speed. 30 miles an hour. Close. Rhino. 
What do you think the top speed is? Who's going to win the race between a rhino? And oh, a hippo's going to beat a rhino. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, you're wrong. So the <laughs> top speed of a rhino is closer to 40 miles an wow. hour. Wow. And yeah. how how fast does Usain Bolt run? For perspective, the what? Usain Bolt. He's a he's a track guy, Jamaica, fastest uh, man in the world. Twenty seven miles an hour. Twenty seven. Twenty seven point four. Wow. Twenty seven point four miles. That's an impressive. Hour. It's just sports. It's Usain just in my DNA. Usain Bolt can't even outrun a hippo, bro. No, that's crazy. So if we're that's judging crazy. by speed, the rhino is going to win. But we're not. We're judging by taste. I've never actually tasted hippo or rhino. No, I haven't either. I don't rhino feel like it. To be my favorite animal. I don't feel like it's ethical. I think both of those are animals that probably should not be. You forgot another ingredient in here. They have to take a side trip to China if you want to taste that. Oh, good boy. Yeah. They'll eat anything over there. Another, another, All right. Another ingredient. <clears throat> Aluminum foil in it. Come on, yeah. bam. Cheers. Bam. All right, here we go. It's good. It's good. In my book, I don't know. Wow, this is really making a mess. That uh, sausage could ever beat bacon. I think that's the issue. Same animal. Props to the pig. Mm. But I think, man, this is really good. Man, Frank's makes a difference, so bro. Even. It's really good with Frank's. Is it? Yeah. Makes a difference, and that's it for me. I don't want to influence you. I usually give the rating first, and then a lot of times you agree. So I'm gonna wait on you. Don't eat the foil, kid. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. What you got? I'm bro? gonna go. I think a hippo may have beaten it by a hair. I'm gonna go with a seven on this one. By a hair. Uh, I was going to go 7.5. So I'm right. When you're not right, we both have the same I'm opinion. Right, bro. They're opinions. You can't not be right. quite as good as the hippo. There's no right or wrong. So I'm there's right. Not a, there's not a Let's card somewhere with the answer on Toby it. It's was about right. to be revealed. That's what that was wrong. Everybody in America agrees. The rhino is a 7. No. <laughs> it's your opinion. Yeah, but hey, we share similar opinions. 7.5, which is probably more correct, but it's all right. It's good. I like throwing likes ball to put as well. fractions mm -hmm. and numbers and points. Next taco. Mm. All righty. Welcome back. Round number five. I know y'all are excited. This another is bur another burrito. This is the, yes, yeah, it's more of a burrito than a taco. This is the everything, the everything burrito called the breakfast beast. Beast. And mm. unfortunately, as we thought it would be easy to look the ingredients up, it is not. Mm -mm. So you have to go to your local Bucky's and check it out. And uh, we apologize if we left anything out, but it appears to be <clears throat> bacon, sausage, egg, cheese, potatoes, hash browns. And I don't know if I see or sense a little ham in there, but can't tell for sure. That might just be the hash browns cut in half. Mm. Uh, either way, this thing is big. It's, it's gargantuan. In it's got a lot of crazy stuff. This it's might got be a the big biggest old, one, the heaviest one. It is the biggest one, yeah. It's big. So after this, we go to a, the littlest one, oh. actually. The littlest, lightest one, okay. which is just going to be, I think, brisket mm -hmm. and eggs. Maybe cheese. We'll see when we get it. Yeah, man, got this thing wrap up. Yeah. This one. be good. There's foil out of here, bro. They foil it up pretty good. Man, this one. Really good. Wrapped up that bad boy. Probably our heat lamp's not helping though. With that. <clears throat> Alright, ready? I'm ready now. Hold on, trashy Toby. Alright. Cheers. Alright. As far as I can tell, no sauce inherent mm. in this one, so I'm gonna give it a little dip. On Frank's. First bite's good. Mm hmm. You gotta get a big bite so you get everything. Mm. No, it's really good. It's sausage, bacon, hash browns, cheese, egg. Yeah, you can taste it all. Mm -hmm. The uh, the hash browns really make a difference. 
really make a difference. Man. Bro. Unfortunately, that means it's a lot worse for you. You try any hot sauce on it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes it better. Mm. Before Toby can declare the righteousness of his own opinion, I'm going to go ahead and throw this at an 8.5. Mm. Maybe a 9. <clears throat> Then we'll I go got, out. We'll throw the okay. point five out the window. Let's we'll go nine. I got so, it out of nine. So we have a. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a, it down, man. This is good. It's real good. You got a little. Good. You got a little goodness. I in left your, that for the show, there. bro. Uh, <laughs> so we have the uh, the beast at a nine, the hippo at an eight, eight, and the rhino at seven point five and seven. The rhino, even though it seemed like smaller, for whatever reason, it had almost twice the calories of the hippo. Really. The beast is going to have by far the most calories. You're probably He's good. you're probably knocking on the door of a thousand, maybe even more than a thousand calories. You only need one of those too. It's good. One beast will fill you up. It's good. But we have one more to throw into the fray. Uno mas. We declare the champion. Uno mas. Next taco. That was, that was interesting. Well, in round number five, the producer just knocked himself out yeah. to start the round off for the queue. Yes. So hopefully he wakes back up before the shot's Slapped over. Slapped himself pretty good. Uh, what do we got, Toby, in round We've got number five? The brisket and egg burrito filled with brisket and egg. Pretty creative. And so, I don't think there's anything else. Is no, it doesn't even look like there's any cheese, uh, which I don't understand that. I would always cheese put cheese. Cheese makes everything. I right. Yeah, I don't always put cheese with my eggs, but Look hey. that brisket. You can smell that. I don't own and operate the most successful chain of gas stations in Texas, probably the world. Probably not, but it should be the world. So, who am I to say? What do you think Toby's Taco Hut? I don't like it. Big deal. No. <laughs> It sounds really awesome, but I Toby's wouldn't. Toby's Tabernacle, he shoots that now. I wouldn't go there. It was between Edgewater and Toby's Tabernacle. And Edgewater won. <laughs> yeah, mostly because I hadn't never met Toby before. So All right. That wasn't even in the. Do you have a dream about anything? Mm, no, no, no dreams. All right. No dreams, uh. All right, ready? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, yours is falling apart. Cheers. Bam. Every single one of mine's falling apart. Crazy. I can't do no cheese and no sauce, man. It's just, that would be too much egg. Mm. Bottom feeder, bro. A brisket makes it unique, you know, it's something different. Mm. It's not as good. I kind of prefer the brisket over the sausage. Really? Yeah, just meat for me. Like, I can taste how good the meat is, but they didn't put anything else in the taco. The sausage taco had, like, potatoes and cheese and all everything else in it. Mm. So it made it better. Now, what do you think between that and the kolaches? This one's the the, the bottom feeder, I think. Mm. I, don't, I don't know. That wasn't my favorite. Yeah. I, I would say this one's, this one's a six, five. Five. I got 5.5. 5.5. 5.5. 5.5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. Eluza, but it's still not bad. Kalachi. It would be better warm. Really, really warm. The kalachi, I mean, that that Jimmy Dean tasting <clears> one <throat> with the sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Was, I get that every time that I have I mean, that. That was good. Time. That was probably a. That's legit. Six or seven. It was up there with jalapeno sausage biscuit. Bucky's. Yeah. Legit. Good yeah. stuff. Try it out. All right. So we have our winner, winner chicken dinner, which is yeah. the beast, the everything. And in a close second was the hippo. And the rhino also good. good the stuff. brisket and egg, not so you much. Gain some weight at Bucky's breakfast. Oh, dude. Seriously. So jumping into the nugget, what did Jesus eat for breakfast? Yeah, Believe it or not, there is a scripture in the end of the Gospel of John where Jesus invites a few of the disciples to breakfast. Really? And then it talks about what they eat for breakfast. So we're going to cover that in the off-menu Bible, and we're going to go a little bit deeper into what the discussion topic was during breakfast and uh, why that matters. Mm -hmm. So if you, uh, if that sounds interesting to you, even if it doesn't, click the link in the description to get to off-menu Bible. Before you do that, make sure that you've clicked the subscribe button here at Potluck Nuggets, subscribe. the bell for notifications, and then go subscribe to off-menu Bible as well. That's where you're going to get your, what we call off-menu teachings a little bit deeper 
the stuff that you don't necessarily hear at most churches, which is why it's off menu. Right. So join us over there. We will be there when you get, get there. Get the meat of the word over there. Absolutely. God bless. What did Jesus eat for breakfast? What do I normally say? <laughs> let's dig in. Uh, well, you say that's a good question. Let's that's a, dig yeah, in. That's I a say let's question. dig in right there? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a good okay. question. Let's dig in. All right. All right. Ready?